Two of the biggest names in American business are just the latest to drop out of a Saudi investment conference in the fallout from the disappearance of a Saudi journalist. Jamie Dimon and Bill Ford join a long line of companies backing away from the meeting. Yahoo Finance's Ethan Wolfman is live in our newsroom. Ethan, what do we know? Bring us up to date. Well, I think we got to add Larry Fink of BlackRock to that. Uh, these big names just keep popping up. So far, we have Schwarzman Fink, Bill Ford, Jamie Dimon, uh, Uber CEO Dara Khosrowshahi. We have uh, you know, Jim Young Kim, the president of World Bank. Uh, we have a VP from the Miami Heat. So people from all different sections of this conference are now out. And in terms of the speaker list actually on the website, that has currently been taken down because I guess they don't really know who's going to end up showing up. Some big names, though, are still going as far as we know. Who, who are they? Well, so this, this is constantly needing to be updated, but uh, right now Steve Mnuchin is the biggest name, U.S. Treasury Secretary. Uh, the Google Cloud CEO, Diana Green, is still going. Uh, Siemens, and uh, the German uh, large industrial company, I think is still going. Credit Suisse, State Street, Dow Chemical. Uh, I think Christian Lagarde is still going. Uh, there, there are people kept hanging up when I kept asking. Um, and I think City of London is still sending somebody. And I think that Bridgewater and Fox's uh, uh, Maria Bartiromo are still going as well. All right, Ethan Wolfman in our newsroom, thank you. Thank All right, you. the president just tweeted about the journalist disappearance. He said, just spoke to the king of Saudi Arabia who denies any knowledge of whatever may have happened to our Saudi Arabian citizen. He said that they are working closely with Turkey to find an answer. I am immediately sending our secretary of state to meet with king. What do you make of that, Rick? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we're, I, th I guess we're going to get to the bottom of, of this at some point. But, I mean, it's an intractable situation right now. So there, Saudi Arabia will never be able to say, yeah, we killed this journalist. So they're going to have to, they're stuck making these denials. They will always have to make these denials. And so the West, the uh, intelligence services here in the United States, they have, you know, the United States has not yet come out and said, we agree with Turkey, we think he was murdered. Uh, they haven't said that publicly right. anyway. Um, so it's going to be very tricky in terms of whether they're, how definitive they're they're going to be in terms of what they think actually happened. But this seems to be the case. So we are, I think we're staring at an impasse between uh, the West and the United States in particular and Saudi Arabia. I don't, I'm not sure how it ends. What, yeah. what are the chances you think that the, this conference gets canceled altogether now? I mean, there's a good chance, but I was just going to add to what he just said. At the end of the day, it's a business. Saudi Arabia is a big partner. Uh, we won a big contract recently on uh, one of the, uh, I think, Army or Air Force. So I think all that adds up. And, and I think uh, President Trump mentioned that yesterday, that, you know, we won that after a long time. So it's, it's a delicate balance. It's a, uh, you have to be very careful. They don't want to disrupt the whole thing. But then they have to be right. They have to be proper. They have to be consistent. So I think uh, at this point, I would say it's 50-50. I think there will be some compromise someplace because U.S. needs Saudi Arabia in that part of the world. Yeah, and to your point, we've got shares of Japan SoftBank sliding today because, because of this news. They, too, have very close ties to Saudi Arabia. So many countries, businesses yeah. are now doing business there. Right. It's, well, I it's, mean, po it's political and it's business. Yeah, right. of course, the biggest thing is oil. Uh, you know, I think bigger than any of these other business ties. So there have been these sort of vague threats with, when tr with Trump saying uh, we will uh, retaliate in, if necessary, if, if the worst turns out to be true here, and Saudi Arabia saying don't you dare, we will get back. You. Now nobody knows what that means. Mm -hmm. I mean, will Saudi somehow, uh, you know, do something to push up the price of oil? Uh, that would be somewhat self-defeating for them um, because, remember, we produce a lot more oil here in the United States than we used to, and if the price goes up, American producers will just turn out more.